Hello. So it is July 22nd or 3rd. Hang on. Hello, it's July 23rd and it is 86 degrees and about 63% humidity. And I've been kind of wimpy about suiting up to look at my hives because it's been in the 90s. But I need to see what's going on with building out the honey. Uh, hopefully they've drawn out the comb, but if not, I'm gonna have to do something. Make sure there's enough room for the bees because this hive seems so much smaller than the other one by the amount of bearding they're doing on the outside and I don't know what's up with that. So I have a cooling towel, which I'm going to put around my neck, which will help me stay cool. Because even though this is a vented suit, it gets pretty hot in here. So anyway, that's my story. I will get ready and let's see what is going on. I hopefully might have some full frames that I can pull out and get some of summer honey. I got my smoker hopefully going. Actually, I wasn't paying attention, so I let it go out. We'll get that, get that fixed before I continue. I put in a fresh batch of pine needles. I, I do like the pine needles. Again, you want to make sure they get going and have some smoke, um, but not flames. You don't want to burn the bees. I don't even know how much I'm going to need. I'll just stick that up front right now. Maybe they can get a hint. I don't want to aggravate them for nothing. I'm just going to put these vinyl gloves on first while I get started. It's just so much easier to maneuver. I've done it without gloves plenty. Um, but again, it's hot and I don't need an itchy these things to deal with. Get our rocks. Bricks. And then see what we see. Well, I hear bees, so that's good. We've got some girls in the front here. I was also worried, yeah, because there was a spider um, in the front, which is going to inhibit them, I would think, from using that top front entrance. So I'm going to get rid of the spider. Hey, girls. And as you can see, I had gotten a couple of steps because the hive had gotten pretty tall when I added the supers. So there's plenty of girls up here at, at the top, so that's a nice sign. I'm gonna give them a little, a couple puffs in the front. Um, I'm hoping most of them are out foraging right now. I got their attention. Let's see. We'll take the, the inner cover off now. Alright, so I mean, not a huge amount of bees, but some bees on the top of the inner cover. I'm going to see what they've been up to. Down gently. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Definitely a lot of honey. I don't want to give them too much smoke, and I also just don't want the everything to just taste like smoke. So just give them a little puff. Hey girls. I have the camera a little closer in right now than usual. Because I want you to be able to see better. Sometimes I feel like, since I don't have a production crew, I can't really zoom in while I'm in the middle of filming. So this frame is is drawn out, but very little honey. But it's the end frame. There's literally like five capped cells at the top. Well, all right, maybe ten. 
and the rest is drawn out and you can see the girls walking around. The idea was also that the honey supers would give them room. Again, drawn out some few capped cells of honey. And there's some here that are filled but not capped or being filled. So I'm just curious, you know, make sure this hive has enough room to breed down below because they're just not as productive as the other hive. So we, we'll check that. Again, these are light, so you can see here what it looks like. Hopefully you can see with the lighting. With the up here cat is capped honey. And then there's a little bit of uncapped honey beneath that those. Not a ton going on. Alright. I'll just slide the rest over. I had had an idea the last time and I forgot to do it, was to switch out some drawn comb for untouched uh, comb in the box below, but this is better. I'm starting to build out the top. All right, so they've definitely been working on this one. Just look at a couple more, push them over. See if there are any that are completely I thought it was, maybe it was the other hive. I thought they had gotten further. Yeah. This one has more. Starting to get a little annoyed with me. I don't want to annoy them. It's hot. going to be pulling them apart in a minute, so I'll just put these gloves on so they don't get my wrists since I did not protect those. Alrighty. Sorry, girls. This is a little heavier. And you can see there's more, a little more of the the drawn comb. And then there's more, I'm sorry, the capped um, cells. And quite a bit of uncapped. So it's just got some weight to it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is just reassemble this one. Sorry, dear. I squished one, which is great because I don't need them to get all riled up on me right now. That's all back together. I'm going to lift it off now. I don't think it's going to be too heavy to manage. And I have my step now, so. It's got some weight to it. Okay. So this one is the one that hadn't been drawn out at all. So let's see. have done any work but I mean I, I'm thinking it gives them at least some room to to breathe in the hive again they really aren't drawing out this middle super at all so I'm going to take this one off 
check the one below. And this is, so this bottom one would be the last one that I put on. But it is closest to the brood frame of brood boxes and frames. So again, not this frame doesn't have anything really drawn, just the original wax foundation that I put in. And I mean, there's a decent amount of bees considering it's the middle of the day. So, I mean, it's definitely not nothing of, you know, a hive, but it's, it's not packed either. Uh, so here we got, at least they're drawing out some of the more center frames, which is what they do. The ends are usually last. So here, I'm not sure that you're going to be able to tell, but these are more drawn out. So you can see this is just foundation, and here they're, they're raised. The cells are being drawn out, but again, very little. Take a peek a little further to the center. Oh, they've got some honey in the center. Of course, it's stuck um, to the queen excluder a little bit below. So it's kind of good to be in here and not wait until it's impossible to pull everything apart without big disruption to the bees. So on this frame, there's quite a bit of honey, and on the other side as well, there's quite a bit of honey. And same thing with the frame next to it. So that's actually great. I just don't know why they decided they don't like this middle. So my idea was to maybe take some of these and move them up. So maybe I'll do that. Take at least one and encourage them to work on this. If I'm going to leave it in, I mean, I might as well be, you know, doing some work on it. So, let's see. Take this one out. This one in here. Hopefully this will encourage them to work their way up into the second. Now we have a, beekeepers often say bees will do what bees do, you know. We can come up with all these ideas and plans and what we think is going on and what's good for them, but sometimes bees just have a plan. So this has quite a lot of honey on it, as you can see. The frame is three quarters capped honey. Same thing on the other side. out here too so a little less than that one the, the other side's about three quarters full so I think let's make sure I have room in here because this is much thicker than the empty frames obviously I'll put this one in here and I'm gonna move over the other one that had a lot on it slide the ones they hadn't really worked on too much but from this box and then I'll put these back in
Let me slide this one in. Give them a chance to move out of the way. All right, so I'll step down. Get my, little, I'll get my smoker going because I'm going to put this on here. I don't want to crush them. I just want to give them a chance to get out of the way. some more pine needles in there but for right this second I'm just gonna Let's see if we can take this one off. I'm not sure how stuck it's gonna be to that excluder. bad. All right. So now that I've taken out some of those frames with the honey, it's actually pretty light. So now the big reveal, we're going to take the queen excluder off and see what we can see in the brood box. I'm hoping it's not honey bound and that's why they're not moving up. Quite stuck to the frames below. Okay. So, a little bit of wax. So these. I'm just gonna put that here for right this minute. Okay. Well, there's lots of bees in the brood box, so that's I like that idea. That's a good sign. I'm hoping these are nurse bees, and there's lots of brood in here, but let's see. I haven't really been in here in a while, and you know, it's not great to completely let them do their thing without checking on them in case you have an issue with your brood or your queen. First frame out is tricky sometimes. I should probably just grab my tool for that. Might make it a little easier because they're very full, so they don't really want to pull out. Don't squish anybody. I don't want to drop it and really annoy them. So, as I kind of was thinking, this is full of honey, like full, this side, I'll turn this around for you. That is all honey. So, wow, and this is about more than half. I don't see signs of brood or the queen, so I'm going to put this down. A minute. Let's see what else is going on in this box. Let's see if some smoke. Probably should have done is brought out some empty frames. I do, don't think I have any out here though. Let's see what else we've got. Whoa. Alright, well, this 
this is very heavy. Holy camoly. This, both sides of this is a capped honey. So, it looks like there's more of it there. So there's my problem. So I don't know if there's a queen in here or not, but there's a lot of honey in here and there's no room for them to be breeding, which means I'm not gonna get more bees if they can't, if they don't have room for the queen to lay. So, I'll put this here, I think, I do not have any frames out here. I think I'm going to run in the house and get some frames, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, there's bees everywhere now because I've had the hive open and it's hot. And they're probably concerned about what's going on. Let's get our smoker going a little better. I'm gonna pull out some of these deep frames that are full of honey. And I've got this eight frame plastic hive and I was just storing some frames in it that I extracted earlier in the year. They were deeps from the hives that overwintered. Move the stool for right now. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see. Sorry, girls. So the queen, first of all, supposedly won't cross a honey barrier. So that means if there's all honey in these frames, she's not even going to, there's no chance she's going to come up into those other the honey supers, which is why you have the queen excluder. So she doesn't, but she's not going to because there's so much honey here. I'm hoping there's at least some room for the queen. Let's see what we got here. All right, so this side, the fi side facing me is honey. I'll flip that over. This side looks like honey in the corners, some pollen, and I'm just checking to make sure, oh, there's brood. Okay, so I gotta be careful, I don't have a queen. I'm just looking for her or her attendants. Well, that's a good thing. So there is brood in this box. And it looks like the next frame over is all brood. So, all right, well, that's cool. All right, so. I've obviously got a queen. This is, uh, this damaged frame is a pain. Looks like it's mostly honey. I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to take it out. I should just replace it while I'm here. Unless there's brood on it. Let's see if I can get that out of the super, of the uh, deep. I think it's going to come apart. It's the top. I don't want to stick myself with those nails. I'm going to put that over there. Separate it from the side because this isn't going to get any better. It's just going to become more and more of a problem that I'm not going to be able to remove from here. You can see they're getting quite aggravated now. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to even pull this out. 